Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. What's going on, buddy? And Brett. Now we're playing Survivor. As was stated here at Tribal Council, this is Survivor 45, Episode 8, Following a Dead Horse to Water. Quote that was in reference to Jake uh, by Bruce about his vote last week to go against the majority. Uh, Jake, a real central figure of this episode and of the Tribal Council, an episode which saw the return, guys, of the uh, Survivor Auction, which I was excited to see with some changes. So we will definitely get to the Survivor Auction. But I want to lead off with what I'm sure all our viewers are thinking about, talking about on Twitter and in the comments. Was that Tribal Council was the blind side uh, in our group chat? Brett was excited. I was excited as well. Um, we thought that there was a very good chance that this was going to be the end of Jake. It seemed that the tribe had been in unison of wanting to get out Bruce, but with Bruce's win in the immunity challenge, uh, it seemed like Jake may have been the path of least resistance for both kind of sides. Kelly's name thrown out. There's a chance to get somebody with a real strategic and strong position out. Um, doesn't seem like during tribal, there is anything, any heat going towards Kelly. And I'm going to give the tribe credit, man. They did not uh, show their hand in any way, shape, or form. Kelly is the uh, second member of your jury. I think it's the ninth person voted out of Survivor this season. Um, Brett, let's start with you then. Brian, just your reaction to the vote. Yeah, that was a, I mean, that was a great blindside, obviously. Um, I didn't, I mean, we knew they had thrown Kelly's name out at one point briefly, but it didn't look like they were actually going to bite on that and they were just going to play it safe. I know Kelly was a lot of people's winner picks in like social media and all that stuff. So, and then of course, Jake, he just like babbled like an idiot slash had moments of silence during tribal. So it looked like it just a complete, just mockery of uh, this guy. Like he, he's done, he's done. Plays the shot in the dark L and then out of nowhere, he gets saved because the, the Kelly's name gets thrown out there in a vote because she loses. It was great. Right, yeah, I was happy to just see that it wasn't like, a sweet vote like we've had uh, a lot of the episodes prior to this. So yeah, I, I like Kelly. Unfortunate to see her go. I think like it really started with just their plan was Bruce and the once he won immunity. I was actually rooting for Bruce to win immunity because I want the anarchy. Yeah, mm -hmm. everyone likes him. Like I, I want anarchy on the show. So I, I, I'm fine with the outcome. It was interesting, right? I haven't been a big fan of Bruce either, but the idea of them having to scramble and having just the afternoon to now really having to show their lines within the group because like he was saying everyone was just going to do bruce saved everybody a week even people like kelly who bruce was protecting and working with were sick of bruce um but bruce great performance in that immunity challenge again it's not something we haven't seen before in survivor but um one that i find relatively fair because it is your body weight you know again pre-survivor that you're working with. So not really an inherent disadvantage to anyone who's in any kind of decent shape. Um, guys, any real thoughts on that outside of just like, you know, Bruce performing well. Yeah. I mean, I, I love that the two oldest people on the tribe were the ones that made it the furthest. I think it, it's, it's a nice twist to see, like you think the strong guys are going to stick around and they don't. And I, I like that. That's what I love about the original immunity. Anybody can win. I mean, yeah, with, with Bruce, I mean, I guess Bruce and Julie, they both are pretty lean and muscular, even though they're older. I thought I thought this might be Austin's to win because he seems to have the most like muscle to low weight ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but once he fell out, I was like, I don't know. I mean, I think Bruce might take this one because he's, he's a pretty strong guy and probably doesn't weigh a ton. So and I was I was rooting for him, too. Like you were saying, like we, we wanted the anarchy. Yeah, I think it's better for the show than like just seeing like telegraph stuff. They're like, oh, nobody likes Bruce. He's gone. It's just. So I see he still has an idol, so he could be here another week just to piss more people off, which I'm always pro. Um, no, I agree. I think the anarchy was better. I did think that uh, the idea here, like they did mention, and we've talked about before here, the idea of a girl alliance having a six to four advantage going into this week. Now, obviously, it being um, you know five to four. Now, do you agree with them that it was? they really don't have a chance to keep a girl alliance together. They use the word porous would be what drew called it. Um, do you guys think that they have a chance next week to re-solidify that? Or is that done? -zo? It's done. I think 
I think I think it's very firmly the the red four plus Emily, and now everyone else on blue is a complete you know just straggler. So maybe one of them will fit in somewhere, but that that four I don't remember when they showed the when they were talking about taking out Kelly. I don't know if Emily was in that conversation, but she was obviously in the vote. So I think that's uh that's the team to beat right now. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, anything can happen, especially whoever wins the individual immunity. I mean, it just sets the tone. So we just need to see what happens. Uh, One other uh, item of note, they did give the negotiation for the bag of rice for people having to sit out. Uh, a jet there's just something about jeff like cutting the bag of rice like remind me of like like he was some kind of like vi- super villain like he was like the yeah. joker or something he's like or like the green goblin he's like make your choice spider-man yeah. <laughs> oh you, you want to think about it <laughs> now it goes off your rice i was like what the what is jeff that was doing? savage savage the, that's old jeff is back i think like he's being sassy snarky whatever when he's talking to them they want to negotiate. He just slits the the bag's neck down there. That was my favorite part of the episode. I mean, obviously we got a cool blind side, but that was still, I loved it. How you feeling about Jeff this week, Brian? Did Jeff do better this week? We've been no, he definitely did better, especially like when he had some articles this week where he's like, "Oh, we're cha- we're no, we're gonna be harder on quitters." And it's like, when did that change? So I was happy to see him a little more ruthless. I know this was filmed way before that he said this, but I'm all about him being an asshole, personally. Did, I did you hear him say though that they're, he's saying he's like you know we won't snuff their torches? Is that That's really what they used to not do? So I don't know why he's like doing it now. I mean, yeah, he's he's soft now. Is that really much of a punishment though? To not just like to not snuff a? Uh... Well, I think people like that. Like they when they get eliminated, they're like, oh, snuff my torch, Jeff, and it's like a it it's a feel good thing. I think like it means you played the game. Like you're. You the right started and you ended. Yeah, so... You're gonna stuff my torch, Jeff? You're gonna, you're gonna stuff my torch, Jeff? Yeah, it's like yeah. laugh, laugh, the same way as me. Just, sounds dirty. Yeah, but I don't know what changed. It's just... I mean, everybody that's watching these videos by now knows how I feel about these last four or five seasons. I mean, it's just... It's a total shift from what it used to be. It's a shell of itself. So, one thing we did get that was vintage Survivor with a nice twist was the return of the auction, like I said at the top of the episode. It started with the uh, kind of Easter egg hunt for the bamboo tubes that you had to bring back one at a time. Bruce really stunk at that. Only starts with $80. Uh, there's all different increments again, like you're doing an Easter egg hunt. And uh, this is going to come into play with the auction. Uh a really variety of numbers here. We find out that whoever is left with the most amount of money after the five guaranteed items, Jeff drew a random number, not going to tell them until they get to that number. Um, If you have the highest number when you were out, you did not have a vote. So it added some intrigue to spend early, but then you may be missing out possibly on good items. As in Survivor, there are some bad items. Really, one particular, just this time, bad item thrown in there. Um, what did you guys think overall of the auction? Great, you can go. All right. Well, so I I loved it. I loved the revamp of the auction. Um, all these new little twists and turns onto it. The fact that they have to actually earn the money, and then it's a different amount. And the fact that it's a different amount. Now that you're like incentivized almost to it's to spend it all, right? Because you'll lose your vote. Yep. And then the fact that it's, I mean, it's in the past, they always ended it without warning, but at least now there's like a little more, there's a little more rules behind it. And you know, there's uh you know, a punishment if you don't spend your money. So I liked it. The only one thing I didn't like was just that everyone was always like, oh, I'm going to spend all my money because I don't want to get stuck with it on the next turn. And I was thinking, Maybe if you have a good spot in the game, you can gamble a little bit and just let everyone else do that. And then you'll just spend $20 on every item and get multiple items. And then <laughs> maybe if you do lose your vote, you're still good, hopefully. But that's that's risky. So I, I agree that I like the auction. The only thing I did not like about it, I wish they didn't say what the twist was. I wish he was just like, there's a twist at the end. When this is over and there was like, cause I just I, like, I didn't like seeing everyone just be like, Oh, there's one item left. Okay. I'm the highest one. I'm bidding it all. Like I didn't like, I think it would have made it a little more like people would have more people would have money left and it could have been like 
I, I don't know. That that was my only beef with the auction. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Maybe he says something to the effect of this money will me- mean more than just how you buy your food. You know, just give some kind of tease that the money matters, right? And because then, like you said, Bri, you probably have people thinking that having the most matters. Yeah, it matters. Yeah. So, like, I think that would have been and nicer. A big tease. Just every single time. He's like, guess what? Je- uh, there's one more left. And it's like, oh, thank God. And, like. Yeah, right. to be fair, my only criticism I had, and I wasn't really going to be, you guys are kind of bringing into the spirit of it, was if you really, if you had a good amount of money, you really just sat there for like a minute, you could have quickly figured out what you were able to bid to be able to get multiple items and still, you know what I mean? Like it was the people with like 900, 900, it's like you, you could have done 500, you know what I mean? For you could have easily done enough to at least got the second item of your choice that's like shown out there, right? Yeah, um, right. Bruce, yeah, like she instead of throwing nine hundred at it, she was on number four. She could have thrown you know six hundred at it, and then right. still had the or less, not the most. Just enough where you know you can just outbid someone. You know, you could out as all as long as you can outbid like more than like one person, you'll be okay. Like again, there was just I think a little more strategy, and I do think we're gonna see the auction back going forward now. So I'm curious to see if they do it verbatim next season, or if they try to iterate it again will be nice. I think they can do another. I, the only thing I don't like about that too is that if they had stuck it like six or seven items, I would have been mad. I'm like, damn, that's a short auction. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see them all have a chance to bid on more items and bring back the branded items. Like, bring the Whoppers back. Bring back like the Subway or like the Dominoes, right? Like, stop cheaping out again. Like, you guys should want this. Like, you should want them to pay you to have like a. Little Caesars hot and ready. You know what I mean? All the items sucked, in my opinion. I was like, where the hell is the steak? Where's the cheeseburger? The yeah. chicken burgers? Like, I didn't want any. The pizza might have been, like, the one thing I would see value in, I guess. I don't know. It was but... lazy. It was like a bowl of candy, right? It's yeah, like... like candy. And they, they always love this cake, the sharing of the cake. I would not. If I hadn't eaten anything in, like, a while, cake is not something I'd want to eat. Mm-hmm. Hot like, chocolate cake. No, thank you. There's like I wouldn't want mine or their dirty hands in my cake either. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. I want to see stuff that I think that people would like go crazy for, like like Gatorades, right? Yeah, like, water. Like that. Uh, Ices, you know, shit that's just like, you know, you know, at the end of the day, they know because you know what we all know. Like after 16 days, you eat some super hearty meal. Most of that food is going to like destroy your stomach, right? Like the girls yeah. eat a, a, a milkshake. Like you were going yeah, to die. Disgusting. disgusting. The toothbrush I thought yeah, was ices cool. are great. I love ice. Like ice. I thought the toothbrush was a good idea. Toothbrush is a good one. I would have I would have probably jumped all over that. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, some of the other like here I have I have the items. I have them in the list. I'll run down quick. Uh beer and pretzel, Kendra for 360. There was fries and coke for 500 with Kelly. Uh item three was covered, 440 bucks, Emily wine and charcuterie board. D got the milkshake for 900 Couture is the one that got screwed $480 for the fish eyes that Austin then went and paid to eat, which is funny. Yeah. Um, item six was 520 to drew for the candy bowl. Item seven pizza for Austin. Uh, this is Julie did the toothbrush. Then there was a chocolate cake for three with the hourglass. Jake shares with Julie and Bruce. Uh, then I also noted Jeff did a lot of head fakes. That is not the last item. <laughs> just like I did, yeah. I'd kill you if I were on this thing That's... right now. Um, and then, um, yeah, final item was item ten, the margarita, and the PB and J for Kelly. Ten yeah. total items. What's up what? with that? That's so weird. Why are you eating like Lay's potato chips with a margarita? And I thought PB- that was a good one, though. Honestly, I would love like that one—a nice cold alcoholic beverage and like a some bread. You know what I mean? That's not. Hard. I don't know why you'd want to drink alcohol. I don't understand that. I, I don't, beer, I, don't. I would have been down with Frank. One beer is not going to kill you, dude. It's Ugh. actually calories. <laughs> it's like it, it's just like you're hungry. Life. Like I, that, that's like I said. You say Gatorade or water, but like I mean, I'm a sucker for Coke, and I don't even know if I drank that Coke there. I would have drank the Coke. I mean, I would have drank it if I got it. But I it's think not like of all them, like thinking back, the fries are probably like the safest. The fries and Coke were probably the yeah. Safest. I think that that to me was the best the best thing you can get knowing me i'm basic as shit if i saw fries jump that early i would have just jumped all yeah pretzels and beer why do you want to drink something that's gonna make you thirsty eat something that's more about the i think it was more about the vote 
she she said in the show that her strategy was just to get rid of all her money as soon as she could. Yeah, but she wouldn't be stuck with it like everyone else because that was the, that was the one downside. I liked the concept, but like the fact that it was like, all right, the next highest wallet just is going to take it no matter what. So then it just it was yeah, too it takes the fun out of it. Yeah, that was the only negative. Where where about where's the letters? Where's the letter? Not that I I think I think the letters are dumb, but like where are they? You get those on day twenty seven. We don't even go that long. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good that's joke. What I'm saying they don't yeah. earn the letters. <laughs> I was thinking weeks. about that for a second. I was like, we well, barely even go that long. I thought about that tonight, though. It was it, it, it only hits me, and I, I don't. It like bothers the hell out of Brian, and it bothers me too. But a lot of times less because I've watched less seasons. But there was something about when they were sitting there, and he was like, you know, sixteen hard days, and I was like. It's not that many. Like it's really, it's it's really not, not that dude. many comparatively. Like, yeah, it, it's and then you got these people online. They're like, "This, I love this iteration of it." I'm just like, "No, dude. Like, no." I mean, it's still a lot. It's still a lot. No, well, listen, again, but just that, that it is still a lot. Halfway. But it's like, yeah, it's like it. Half the reason Survivor is fun is because it's hard, and I get to watch it from my couch. You know. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So I wanted to see it be harder. Wait, but COVID's over. Like, COVID's done. Like, let's go back to the main format. Like, it's over. Jeff's got a nice mansion there. They got a nice studio. If they're not going to leave Fiji, they can do more than fucking 20-something days. Sorry for my language. I've I've always said this. I would rather be on Big Brother because I get to live in a house. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Even though it's longer, it's better than living on an island. 100%. No, I agree. I agree. That's what what I would apply for. We'll see here. I need the funds come in. Maybe I'll apply. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, basically, I think that's really where we stand. Great week, I thought, of Survivor. I think they're stringing together a lot of good consecutive weeks, in my opinion. There are obviously some things we'd love to change. But overall, I think the season has been going long really well. Um, make sure you're liked and subscribed here and on TikTok. You'll catch all of our Survivor coverage, our CBS Wednesday coverage, all of our other reality TV coverage. Um, Check out the playlists here on YouTube. You can see all the series. And like I said, the TikTok, take a scroll through. You'll see all three of us doing varying content for all different shows. So really um, make sure you hit the notification bell here as well. We post a lot of videos at a lot of random times. And so if you get that notification bell hit, you'll always get the email. You'll get the alert. Hey, reality guys just posted something so um for myself brett brian everybody here at the reality guys thank you for watching peace